In this problem, we have a piston that has heat added to a gas in the piston chamber. The heat added causes the pressure inside the piston chamber to increase, which causes the piston to move and it goes through a thermodynamic isothermal process. This means that the temperature remains constant. This also means that all of the heat added goes into doing work on the piston. The isothermal process is graphed at the top right of the screen. On the y-axis of the graph, we plot the pressure inside the piston chamber. On the x-axis, we plot the volume of the piston chamber. Below it is a depiction of the piston locations relative to the graph. We have two points. Point 1, or initial state, where the heat added, heat is sometimes referred to as Q, causes an increase in pressure in the piston chamber. And point 2, where the heat added goes into moving the piston, which expands the volume of the piston chamber. The line that connects point 1 and point 2 is known as an isotherm, which is a hyperbola. This shows the relationship between pressure and volume at any given point on the graph. The formula for this curve is simply the ideal gas law rearranged so that pressure is on one side of the equation. So pressure equals mass times the gas constant times temperature divided by volume. In an isothermal process, the internal energy remains constant. This means that the energy is the same at all points on the graph. Being that temperature, mass, and the gas constant are constant, the only variables that can change to keep the equation constant are pressure or volume. Being that they are inversely proportional, if volume goes up, pressure must decrease, and if pressure goes up, volume must decrease. At point 1, the volume is less than point 2. However, at point 1, the pressure is greater than point 2. At point 2, the volume has increased, which to keep the ideal gas law constant and equal to point 1, the pressure must decrease. The area in green below the curve is equal to the magnitude of work done by the gas. So now recall that you can find the area under a curve by integrating using calculus. Doing so, we end up with an equation that states that the area or work from the isothermal process is equal to the mass of the gas times the gas constant times the temperature of the gas multiplied times the natural logarithm of volume 2 over volume 1. Now let's do an example. We are given a volume 1 of 0.1 meters cubed, volume 2 of 0.5 meters cubed, mass of the gas, which in this example will be air, of 1.25 kilograms, gas constant of air of 28.98 joules a kilogram degree Kelvin, and absolute temperature of 279.3 degrees Kelvin, which is 6.1 degrees Celsius. We can take all of those values and plug it into the area under the curve or magnitude of work equation and we get 16,283.71 joules of work completed between point 0.1 and point 0.2. This is an over-idealized example to help you understand the concept of an isothermal process. That concludes this video. Hopefully I've earned a like, share, or subscription. If you enjoyed this video, you may enjoy one of these videos as well. Thank you for watching. Let me know how I'm doing in the comments down below.